This right here is a Toshiba 32 inch LCD high definition television and I use it as a PC with my uh, Antic 1200 it's a monster yes ladies and gentlemen a monster people say they compare this to the Cosmos Cosmos doesn't compare to this this is a killer you want a custom built rig this is the way to go look at the 200 millimeter fan you got a thermal take cup holder with a cigarette lighter got reset button USB 2.0 USB 2.0 e SATA mic and headset and power then you got the thermal take fan level fan levels you know for the speed and to top it off you got a blu-ray reader you know it, it doesn't burn them it reads them with a DVD burner you know the usual and it's pioneer so then you got 320 millimeter blue LED fans which is real sweet at nighttime you could light up the whole neighborhood with this computer you know so let's get back to this keyboard right here it's a creative it's a creative keyboard it turns blue see that nice and now I got a, a razor copperhead mouse real nice mouse you know not top of the line top of the line but you know for when you're on the internet you can go back front you know blue lead I know it's part of my computer but it's my sidekick so and I got the uh, Logitech 5.1 surround sound you know it's a nice setup you know sounds real good Xbox 360 controller for you know my video games I like to play I like to play Call of Duty 4, Soldier of Fortune, NBA Live, Crisis you know whatever these games are now let's get down to business that's the subwoofer for the Logitech Falcon router and a DSL surfboard a modem okay let's see what we got in this sucker right here we got a 120 millimeter thermal take fan let me, let me sort of get this moving okay cool first to power everything is a BFG 650 watt power supply and there you see it's the uh, another 120 millimeter blue fan you know to keep my cards cool or to you know put it in there from over here and sucks it out that way then as you can notice I'm running the NVIDIA SLI those are two twin XFX 9500s GTs they both are uh, 256 memory a bit, 256 bit. Each one carries 512 of GDDR3. Pretty sweet. And this right here is a thermal take. Big typhoon with a 120 millimeter fan on top. Then you see you got two more. I think they're 80s. I'm not quite sure if they're 80s or they're 120s. They look like 120s. So. Yeah. And right on top is where you got the 120 millimeter, I mean the 200 millimeter, I'm sorry. And here, this is what I love. Is this board right here is a 750 in the in the EVGA 750i FT, FTW board for the win edition. And as you can see, this board supports 8 gigs of RAM I only have four each stick is one gig OCC is the the maker uh, there you go with the uh, the fan for the chipset that keeps it cool and under the big typhoon I have a core 2 dual E2200 
If I'm not mistaken, no, that could have been my Pentium Dual Core. I switched it out for a Core 2 Dual. I'll show you now, right now, the specs on it. And right over here, as you can see, on my hard drives in the cages, I have one, two, three, four. Four hard drives. Each one is 500 gigs, that equals two terabytes. They're all SATA. I use one for my operating system and the rest for backup and believe me they're all full. What else? My sound card is right in there. It's a creative sound card, you know, a high-end one. It's like $75 or something like that. Now, what I was going to get was water cooling. They had the thermal take a uh, big water, 760 I think or 750 which takes up a uh, two or three in the front and comes straight out here to the uh, chip to the CPU processor but you know you hear stories about not being good for it or le leaking water or whatever whatever the reasons are you know imagine that'd be scary so let me uh, let me get on this and show you guys the uh you know my uh my system rating it's not much but something to be proud of compared to all these uh wannabe uh computers out there that people say they're you know pretty custom built components i got a 5.1 rating you know and i'm not done yet i'm trying to get I'm trying to get a. Uh, as for like that, the light board. there's my machine. What I'm gonna do right now is maybe turn it off and show you the RAM, cause I'm very proud of the RAM. There's a box to this thing. It's actually on sale. I actually like the Microsoft Sidewinder better. It's more uh, you get a grip on it a little better. What is this right here? Oh, this is the camera where I'm filming from. It's a very good camera, plus it's a, it has a built-in hard drive, so you don't have to worry about nothing. And here are uh, all my specifications. Windows Applebite Computing Systems. You know, I am CompTIA certified. So, and one last thing. Right here are my business cards. The PC Doctor. See that come to your logo? Yep, that's me. So, oh, here's the Sidewinder, see? And you tell me which one looks better. The Sidewinder actually lights up red. You know, it has, has two buttons there, and it has the speeds, and this opens up your game folder. Now the uh, the Copperhead has two there for the speeds, and there for your uh, web browser back and forth. Or you know, when you're playing Call of Duty, you can uh, toss your grenades and you know uh, change your grenade. So, but really, for me, it's better than this one. The only reason I have this is because the color. So. So there you have it, the Antec 1200, the beauty, the monster, the respectable 32 inch Toshiba LCD high definition television. And don't just think that I just use it for my PC buddies, nope, what's wrong with you? But I hardly use it for this, this is rare, this is rare. You know what I mean? But that's good to have. So, let's go back to the uh, PC and try playing Call of Duty on a 32 inch Toshiba. So, alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is.